All right, boys and girls, on my way back over to the room, I lost my video. So this is going to be the second part uh, videos for today. The first part was looking at uh, Miss Paula's pets. We went over there and checked them out. So coming back into our class now, I have two activities for us to do. And the one is going to be using letters and sounds. So I'm sure that you've all heard the song Twinkle Twinkle Little Star. And in case you haven't, I'll sing it for you. Twinkle Twinkle Little Star, how I wonder what you are. Up above the world so high, like a diamond in the sky. Twinkle, twinkle, little star, how I wonder what you are. Okay, so we're going to sing this song to, this, to the beat of Twinkle, Twinkle, Little Star. So we're going to use silly nonsense words. And the first group of words are going to start with the sound d, d, d from the letter D. And the second set of words is going to be wa, 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 the sound from the letter W. So try to follow along. I'll sing the first verse and then you can join in. Dinky, 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 do, willy, 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 woo. Dinky, 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 do, willy, 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 woo. One more time if you want to sing it with me. Dinky, 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 do, willy, 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 woo. So the purpose of that is to be a little bit silly and come up with some fun words that aren't really words that have the same beginning sound. So next, I was thinking maybe we could try using the letter T. Does anybody know what sound the letter T makes? T, T, like this. T, 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 like tree or train or trolley, the letter T. So for the, le the letter T, the words could be tinky tilly too. So I'll sing the first verse and then see if you can sing along with me. Tinky, 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 too. Tilly, 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 too. Tinky, 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 too. Tilly, 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 too. Tinky, 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 too. Tilly, 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 too. Good job just try that one more time because I was thinking maybe we should try it with the letter of the week which is P very good so the letter P and we did just talk about this so you should kind of remember it but this is what the letter P looks like and the sound that the letter P makes is P, 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 like pumpkin or pickle so instead of using real words, though, we have to make up nonsense words. So it can be, well, pinky's a real word. So we could do um, plunky. Plunky and, hmm, plunky, 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 blue. Oops. And then it could be, hmm. Pilly, 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 poo. That kind of sounds funny. I like that we picked the letter P. Although poo is a real word, it's a silly word, so I guess we can count that. So plinky, 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 poo. Pilly, 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 poo. Plinky, 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 poo. Pilly, 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 poo. One more time. Plinky, 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 poo. Pilly, 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 poo. So you can practice doing this at home. And if your parents want to look, it's your Mighty Minutes number 24. You can try, you can try practicing clapping or dancing while you're singing. Or practicing with a letter sound that your name starts with. Just to kind of mix it up and make it a little bit more fun. 
And that is that. And the last thing um, that Miss Donna and I are going to do with you today is we're going to pretend that we are investigators because we're talking about community helpers. And so, Miss Donna, who who usually investigates? Would you say? Uh, police officer. Yes, a police officer investigates. So, a lot of the times, whenever there is trouble in the community, we might call a police officer for help. I think that would be like the only person we would call, maybe the fire, maybe a fireman. But so if the policeman catches a bad person, usually when they arrest them, they take them in for fingerprinting. And so Miss Donna and I today are going to show you some things about fingerprinting. And you might have some ink at home. We found this really cool thing. I don't know if you know what that is, but it's a, called a Where's my camera? It's supposed to make things bigger. Do I look bigger to you? A magnifying lens? Crazy, huh? All right. So I'm going to turn this down so you can see what we're doing here and just make sure that you're paying attention. Go ahead. All right. Fingerprints are really something when you think of it because there's so many people in this world, but no one has the same fingerprint as you. You are very special. You have your own fingerprint, okay? So today I'm, we're going to show you how Miss Carol's fingerprint is going to be different than my fingerprint, okay? We're going to use this ink pad, okay, to demonstrate how to show you a fingerprint on this white paper, okay? So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take my thumb and I'm just going to put it down in the ink and kind of roll it a little bit so that I can get the ink all over my finger. Do you see that? And then I'm going to put it down on the paper and press down a little bit, okay? And lift up, okay? Now, I don't know if you can see this fingerprint of mine yet, but there it is there. Now I'll move it up so they can see it. There's some spots that are sort of like light colored or white that you can see through, okay? So if you look at your own thumbs without the ink, you can see that you have all these little lines in it, okay? But when we put ink on it, it actually... Uh, um, Actually, it shows those little lines that you have in your fingers. Maybe okay? we should use the magnifying yeah, lens. Yeah, that's what I'm going to do <laughs> next. But. Here, I can, since I have a better view here. There, can you guys see, see can that? Can you see the little white lines from Miss Donna's fingerprint? Okay. Now, no one in this whole wide world has the same fingerprint as me. Okay. Well, Miss Donna, that was your thumb. What if well, you do your other thumb? Isn't that going to be the, they're the same thing? Aren't they going to look the exact same? Let's, let's and see. I'm going to put my thumb back in the ink again, and I'm going to come back over here and press it down. Oh, so that's a different okay. thumb. That's my left thumb, okay? Oh, oh wow. wow. Yeah. Okay. So let's so then, show everybody. Go ahead. Okay. So that's my other thumb, okay? And I can see, like, looking up close, there's, like, more, like, over, so where's my finger? There's some lines right here. But if you look at this thumb, they don't have lines. This thumb has a line right here. Yeah. This one doesn't. So do you see how they're a little bit different? Maybe we'll look through the lens. See? I hope you can see that okay. But it's something that you can try at home, but you'll see how your fingerprints are so different. Okay. You have these little lines or maybe little grooves or indentations, okay? So when you use ink, it highlights those areas, okay? Very cool. So does Miss Carol want to try? Of course. Okay. So I want to try. So normally when you get a when you have to go get fingerprints done, and I didn't do this because I was in trouble. When you go to school to be a teacher, you have to get fingerprints taken so that they can do a background check to make sure that you haven't you don't have anything bad in, in your past so what we what you do is it's all done on a scanner now but the old way that they would do it is you would put your thumb in the ink and then you would put your thumb on the paper and then you would put your finger in the ink and then put your finger on the paper then this next finger Put it on the paper. And then this one, put it on the paper. And lastly, make sure you got lots of ink on there and you put it on there. 
So before I look at these though, cause I kind of want you to see the difference. I think, look at my fingers. I yeah. should not be touching anything until I clean my hands up because I will make a mess. So I'm gonna use a wipe. I have a wipe here and I'm gonna clean my hands up. And I have to rub a little hard because ink is kind of Yeah, there, thick. see that? Yeah. My, it'll eventually wear off because you can't get all of it off right now. It'll come off. Okay. Because we don't want to touch anything else. Until no way, else. no way. Maybe if it was pink I would, but blue is not my favorite color. Pink is. Okay, so here I have all of mine. I'm gonna flip it this way so you can get a little better view. So if you remember, this is my thumb, and then I went down and did every finger. You see that how they are kind of different? Let's look with the magnifier to see. It's lights there. Can you kind of see how they're? Oh yeah. They're all just a little bit different. And these are just mine. I'm Miss Donna's are probably different than mine even. Everybody's are different. So that's something that you can do at home to practice um, using your magnifying lens. I think you all have one of those at home. Does this make my eye look big? I think so. Um, but you could practice uh, maybe doing your fingerprints or if you have a brother or sister or one of your parents or another adult in your house. Of course, if you're going to get ink out, you want to make sure that there's somebody supervising you. And you definitely want to ask permission if you're going to be helping a younger brother or sister because maybe you don't want to get that ink on them. Um, hmm. So we were also thinking that maybe while you have your magnifying lens out, we could show you a couple things. So at school here, we have two things, exploring bins that we have. We have our nature bin and then we have this bin here, rocks and minerals. And so the inside of this one kind of looks like this if you've ever played with it before. And there's also a miniature um, lens in there for you to use. And then we also have this um, big bin here of the rocks and minerals. And you can see that these are like multicolored different ones in there. And so I thought that while we have our magnifying lens out, now we have these at school for you to look at, but because you're at home, obviously you won't be able to see these, but you could just go outside and try to find some stuff in your yard that you want to like observe and look at. And so like this one I thought was kind of cool to show you from far away. Here, let me hold it up close so you can see. Is that camera? There we go. I don't know how well you can see that. But I did, I wanted to show you the enhanced view. Look at that. Using the magnifying lens, can you see all those little sparkles on there? So using a magnifying lens is help you is going to help you be able to see the fine details that you normally wouldn't be able to see with your eyes. I also found this one in here, which I thought was kind of cool. It looks like gold. Can you see that? Hmm. I know it's so tiny and it's hard to see on the camera, but I'm gonna show you here the magnified. Like, see that one, it looks like gold. A little shimmer and sparkly there. So, there's that one. Um, you could also, if you have, like we have um, lots of leaves in the yard right now and you could kind of look at the different leaves maybe and compare them to see, um, you know, what, how they look different up close. There's acorns out in the yard that you could look at. Other types of plants or flowers, pine cones. Everything's kind of changing colors right now because it's fall. The weather's getting cold, but I'm sure if you take your time and you go look outside, you'll be able to find some stuff to look at while you have your magnifying lens out. So make sure you take some time, find some stuff, and you can always send pictures to us of what you're doing because we love to see what you're doing at home because we miss you at school. And the only other thing that I wanted to tell you, and I should have brought it today, but I wasn't thinking, is um, 
Yeah. I have at home my dog's paw prints. So me and Miss Donna, we did our fingerprints like that. I did that with my dog's paw prints. And so you've seen pictures of my dogs, Callie and Lily. Do you think that they were the same on the dogs? Because they're dogs. So do you think they have the same print? Whenever I took their stamp and put their paw down, do you think it was the same? Nope, they're different too. Everybody's different. All the dogs are different also. Something to also, you could also try, but I don't really think you're going to want to be stamping your dog's paws. That's all I have for you today, boys and girls. We hope that you enjoyed seeing the pets and looking at all this cool stuff with Miss Donna and I. And we will see you on Monday. Have a great weekend. Bye. Bye.